Mad Sick Reggaeville. Reggaeville family, this is a summer jam 2016 and all the way from the other side of the world came to us Natalie Rice. Natalie, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you very much. Welcome to Summer Jam. This is your first time to the festival, right? Yeah, this is the first time at Summer Jam and I was just admiring all the posters of all the years. This is the 21st year. Wow, there's a lot of amazing artists that have been on these stages. So trust me, it's a real pleasure for us to be able to come and represent and be here and perform for the Summer Jam crowd. And there's so much love for reggae out there. It's so great and so positive. So we like to be a part of those celebrations. We were very happy today. I, I watched the show and I had a wonderful time. The, the musical experience was great. The energy, I think, was very great as well. And we had the sunshine. How did you experience the performance today? It was great for us. We had, you know, like as far as festivals go, there's there's a few things that you that you can hope for, and that is for us like good sound, which we had, and um, a good crowd that has a, an energy about them. And and so when those things are right, you can't really go wrong. You know what I mean? So and we had both of those things like 10 out of 10. The sound was great. The crowd energy was great, and we all in ourselves have been just so excited to be coming here that we were just giving you know from our hearts and and receiving as well like that energy exchange today yes. was strong yes i felt that the same way and i because the crowd was always responding to all the speeches to the, you could see that they were listening and understanding the lyrics as well yeah yeah which is really important to me and i wasn't sure to be honest how much um, of that will be picked up because it's Germany but I know a lot of people speak English and understand obviously understand a lot of lyrics because they obviously listen to a lot of English lyrics but it was great for me too because I do like to talk quite a bit like I usually would talk longer between songs you know um, so it's, it's nice to see that the messages are definitely not getting lost in translation and that people are really picking them up and feeling them and that's inspiring for us for sure. And I was feeling it a bit for for Basie and Drummy because they were standing in the sun, especially Basie, with with the suit, with the boots and everything, with the helmet. Is he gonna wear that throughout the whole tour? <laughs> or yeah, man, that's that's his showtime, you know. Like we have a couple of we have a couple of different outfits, and but oh, yeah. what I love is that yeah, you know, the band is just they're solid and they they represent and they you know we we take the show seriously so yeah it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold or whatever you know the state it did get sunny on stage today which was nice because it's kind of raining outside now but um yeah man always represent the band is mostly from jamaica tell the people um where are they from who, who are the musicians that you're touring with for this project now okay so we have sparrow on the bass and yellow on yellow on the drums and those two uh, yeah, drum and bass, they've been playing together for years and years. They also have been playing with the Keezy, Stephen Maxwell, for years as well. Um, so, yeah, man, their family, you know, really, really, the three of them especially have, have been playing together for a while and we've all known each other for years, um, for a few years since I've been in Kingston. Um, and then on guitar we have Carlo Santoni from Australia, I know who also plays in, he actually plays bass in Blue King Brown. Yeah. So he's oh. on guitar now for him. This is his first time like performing as a guitarist, but he's wicked. Like, yeah, yeah. You, never tell. you wouldn't tell. <laughs> no. So it's, yeah, it's a really good family. We are, we're all really focused and we're all really on a mission together. Yeah. You know, Natalie Rise is, is all of us and, and we all put in and, and put out as much energy equally. So definitely it's a it's a really positive group that is just at the very beginning yes yes and what i also recognize looking at the stage i mean we, we, we saw the outfits the the whole style that matched that was a big point and then also you had um i don't know the, if that is the english word as well we call them the mandalas the circles that you have the artwork with the red gold and green as well i i recognize your earrings i recognize your chain what is uh, is there a special meaning for you or a special relationship to those mandalas with you well, these are sacred geometry symbol it's a seed of life yeah in sacred geometry and so 
um, what we start to realize now in these times when you, the more you start to learn and read up on, on sacred geometry, it's a real pathway towards higher consciousness and towards understanding of, of you know, how the universe is and works and all the, the mystic and, and metaphysical elements of life that we're never really taught but symbols represent and deliver those messages sublimin subliminally. Um, symbols have a lot of energy, sometimes they speak more than words can and so that's why symbols are really powerful and you'll find symbols like the seed of life and the flower of life um, especially in Egypt and ancient, all around the world actually, ancient cultures um, who had an understanding of sacred geometry and how it is like a, a map to, to how the universe is created and, and creation itself. So yeah, it has a deeper meaning for us and that is reflected, just reflective of, you know, where we are consciously and for me as the lyricist and, and evolving artist, yeah, these are the things we like to represent. Speaking of, of deeper meanings, um, the EP, what, what is um, the idea behind that title? Or what is the new era about and, okay. and what's the frequency? <laughs> All right, so the new era frequency is the sound, you know, the, the new music, the new uh, frequencies and vibrations that we're creating as people who are thinking outside of the current paradigm, you know, like the thought paradigm of this planet has been so limited for so long and so what we're seeing now is the more that you're awakened to, to the reality of like much broader possibilities and ways of just being of living um, and p human potential like the fact that we are so much more powerful and potent than we've ever been taught than no anyone's ever shown us and so people are starting to really connect with their meditation and yoga and these practices that help them discover them <laughs> you know you find yourself then when, when you know yourself and you know your true self you have that connection you really start to see and be able to to love and accept everyone else and every other living thing as well you know not just other human beings but all beings our earthly planetary family and beyond so now I've gone on a tangent I forgot what the original question was <laughs> see what you do we put a mic in front of me <laughs> Yeah, new era frequency, yeah. So the frequencies, that's what they reflect, you know, the fre and, and especially frequency because everything in this world, when you break down a physical matter, it breaks down to a vibration, to a frequency. So we are all frequency, we're made up of it. Like that's why when you vibe with somebody, they say you resonate with them because you're literally resonating with them. And that's why, you know, I say that we create, when, when you come together in live music, it's part of the potency of live music is that we are resonating, creating energy, energetic vortexes when we gather like that. Especially, it's even more powerful when you're conscious of it and the intention behind the words and every strum, every kick, every beat is towards, you know, a, a greater way of living, of higher consciousness, then that creates energy as well. So and those are the frequencies that we ourselves and, and me myself try to create and align with and find within myself and you know we're all learning we're all evolving and and you know growing and which is right yeah you you did the music also with fellow artists you you collaborated with Kabaka Pyramid for with Juju um, Julian Marley as well um, why did you um, work with them is it is it also I mean is it to speak musically because yeah I could imagine they would fit on a track or or is it um, a, a more personal thing for you to choose who you want to do a song with yeah well if every song has its own life you know so when when the song generations will rise come about I was very working with notice of course um, yeah me and Unga Burunga were there and we laid down the chords and the first thing that came to my head was generations will rise governments they will fall and just like that and we're like all right so this is a song that wants to be sung and it's kind of a serious you know sweet but serious yeah. and it was like okay and then we were trying to think of somebody that would be appropriate for a while and then I went and saw Kabaka perform live for the first time that was a few years ago now and I was like 
he's the guy for this song. <laughs> How you mean this? This this is the guy for the song. So then he came in and, and recorded his part. But that was the first time I'd met him. Yeah, and then we've got some. Actually, me and Kabaka have, have a great connection musically, and you can keep an ear out for some more tunes in the bag from us coming soon. Yeah. So it was it was a spirit that you felt right away. Yeah. Yeah, and then when we actually met, yeah, it was just, the vibe was just right. We just jammed and, and wrote songs all night and had a good time, so, yeah. You, you're um, probably going to meet them on the road because um, the tour is kicking off. You have dates ahead of you and y you might cross paths with um, Julian or Kabaka at yeah. other festivals like Reggae Jam, for example. Yeah. You might um, share the stage with them as well. We can maybe hope for some guest appearances. Yeah, I know. Like it's it's interesting seeing all the all the tours that are happening, all the festivals. Everyone's kind of going like this. Everyone from Jamaica. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're gonna link with those guys. I think I think me and Juju are on we're on the same festival way maybe once or twice. I hope it's the same day. Of course, we're trying um, collaborate and do Natty Rides again live for the first time. And also, I know I think Kabaka is playing definitely on a Stroda Reggae Festival with us on the same day. So definitely be able to perform live together. Yeah. So uh, the fans can look forward to that. Um, you you said it already. There is material to come, and and I think you're, you're ever busy, but you're also touring and traveling a lot. Where do you find um, inspiration and also the time in all this restlessness of, of getting up in the morning? Oh, I got to go to the airport. I got to go to the hotel. I got to I've got to eat at some point maybe, <laughs> and then play and this and that. Where where do you find the time to just settle down and? because inspiration is not nothing that you can also force okay now i've got 30 minutes yeah, let's go. <laughs> next hit song ready yeah. set go yeah I'm f it doesn't quite work like that for me um definitely i feel like i'm inspired a lot when i am kind of one of those people i'm trying to train myself to be more force myself to write more on the road but it is so busy on the road but when i do stop it's like i have like a backup or like a bank up of ideas that sort of come flooding in so i guess and for me being in Kingston is one of those places where um, I'm able to really just when I stop yeah a lot of creativity happens and that's just I think that's just Kingston as well like that's why I love it there and that's you know because there's so many artists about and it's easy to link people and just make music all day and night if, if you can it's more for me it's more about finding time to just rest <laughs> You know, that's that's the tough. I'm still figuring that one out, but yeah. that's all good because these are the times we have, these are the times we're in, and the works we have to do, we have to do. So we just, you know, keep our chin up and do a little yoga meditation where we can fit it and keep, ro keep rolling, keep moving. Please keep rolling, keep moving, keep doing your wonderful music and, and um, performing for us this summer we're very much looking forward to seeing you again on the road throughout the european festivals and you'll be there of course you'll be there awesome yes natalie um all the best a lot of energy for the future thank you for for checking reggaeville again and, and get, having the time to do this wonderful reggaeville we love love the vibes thank you for being here our first performance in europe our first performance at summer jam <laughs> very exciting for us so bless Wonderful conversation as always, very inspiring words. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Mad, sick, Reggaeville.